Welcome back, everybody. It's getting to be that time of year. The Blackstone Griddle More Tour. I haven't made the tour recipes since last year. That's right. So today we're going to make the Colorado Cajun. Griddle More Tour kicks off in Arizona next weekend. We're down in Queen Creek and Surprise. Then the weekend afterwards, I'm going to be down in that Tampa area. I'm going to be in Zephyr Hills and up in Newport Ritchie, north of Clearwater. So all the details down below. Free hats, free fun. You don't need to RSVP. Come one, come all. We're going to start out with the Trinity of Cajun cooking, an onion, a bell pepper, and celery. Typically, they're using a yellow onion with Cajun cooking. All I had is white onion. These are gonna be just fine. No one's gonna know the difference. With the Colorado Cajun, I like to go with a thick chunk. I like my onions and my bell pepper to look like the onions and the bell pepper that you'd get in a sweet and sour chicken dish at a Chinese restaurant. Something like that, maybe half inch or so. This is the exact way we do it on the Griddle More Tour, only on the tour we prep it ahead of time. Bell pepper, I'm using red today because I want to alternate colors. We have a lot of green. We're going to have parsley. We're going to have celery. So the red's really going to stand out from the crowd. Nice chunks of red bell pepper. Something that's comparable and that will match the onion chunks. When you come to visit me on the Griddlemore Tour, we're doing a monster batch of this. Probably at least 15 pounds of food. Enough to feed 75 people. So this is going to be enough to feed a few less than that. Last but not least, the celery. You can chop that any size you want we're gonna go somewhere in the middle i said last but not least but then i decided i want a little bit of spice so sometimes i put a jalapeno in here sometimes i don't we're gonna do it today if you want the heat go ahead and add it and if you don't want the heat you don't need it so we're gonna take the seeds out of a jalapeno gonna go with thin strips for the jalapeno and then we should be able to mince these up into tiny pieces that spice will permeate the entire dish very well might be the first time that i've ever said permeate in my 17 years on YouTube. I don't know. And now, last but not least, a little bit of garlic, fresh garlic. A lot of times I use the garlic paste, but today we're just gonna go with some little sliver slices of fresh garlic because I love garlic more the better. You could add as much garlic as you want. Nobody is gonna complain. I'm certainly not gonna complain. I finally visited a Costco business center the other day. If you've never been to one, there's like 75 of them in America. There's one in Denver, maybe an hour, an hour 15 from here. That place is phenomenal. And check this out. It had a new kind of andouille that I'd never heard of before. Cajun Holler brand Cajun andouille. Let me know. If you live in Texas, where this is from, if you've had this brand, let me know. Typically on the tour, we're getting the Hillshire Farms brand. That's what they have at most Walmarts across America. This is pre-cooked smoked sausage, so we don't need to cook this to any particular internal temperature. I like to take these and cut them straight down through the center and then do little half circle slices. Semi-circle slices? <laughs> Might be the first time I've ever said semi-circle in a video as well. Definitely wanna come visit me on the Griddlemore Tour. So this is the sixth straight year that we've done the Griddlemore Tour. I can't wait. As I mentioned earlier, we're starting out in the Phoenix area, going down to the Tampa area. And then you're gonna see me in West Texas. I'm gonna be in that Midland and Odessa area. I'm gonna be in the Fort Worth area. Um, in I don't even remember where am I going to Burleson, Burleson and one other town. I'm going to be in Statesville, North Carolina, so north of Charlotte. And I'm going to be in Rogers and Bentonville, so please come and visit. And we'll make some Colorado Cajun there as well. This is the 2024 36-inch griddle with hood from Walmart. We're actually near our dining room. And this is where I used to film, so this is where I store my Blackstone stuff. For Let's Give It a Try, typically down on the patio, which is off of our living room. This is the the griddle that we typically cook our family dinners on and it doesn't show up in a lot of videos we're gonna turn this up pretty high at least medium to medium high range avocado oil down on the griddle top and we go straight in with the andouille Cajun smoked sausage looking really nice again this is pre-cooked so that's gonna do its thing we're gonna move that over to the side garlic I guess we got a few jalapenos in there as well, so we'll get that garlic sizzling away. And just like I do on the tour, I don't waste any time. So straight down with that Cajun trinity of cooking. Garlic looking beautiful. I'm gonna mix that up with my sausage. Put that together, we're gonna keep our veggies moving together. Shortcut that I use on the road, that Uncle Ben's, that Ben's Ready Rice. Long grain wild rice. Sometimes I'll go with jasmine or whatever they have, but I really like the long grain wild rice for this. So if you've never used it before, it is 
pre-cooked rice. We want to warm it up and we want to use those oils to give it a lot of flavor. Straight down beside the sausage, which is looking really good. So we're going to mix the sausage straight up in with the rice. Yeah, I live up here in Colorado. I don't know, we call it Yankees. Had a few people from Louisiana try this dish and they told me it was Cajun approved. So take that for what it's worth. Speaking of Blackstone, everybody, and the Griddle More Tour, uh, make sure you get over to my weekly show. So let's give it a try. Every single week of the year, 52 weeks out of the year, I have an amazing seafood series that we're filming right now. I was down on the Gulf fishing. I have collaborations with the one and only Blackstone Betty, Chef Nate, and with everybody. So always an exciting time over there, but I sure do appreciate you being here. I have some exciting things that I'm trying to bring here on my channel this summer. So stay tuned. Veggies looking good, so we're gonna mix those up with the rice. Curly is the kind of parsley we use growing up. I use flat leaf in some things, but for some reason in the Colorado Cajun, I like it curly. I think it just looks better. And some lemons. We'll go ahead and slice a few lemons up. The key ingredient, as far as I'm concerned, if there's one thing that you can't find, like let's say you can't find celery, well, it's still gonna be delicious, but you need to find the heavy whipping cream. If you need to, you can use that rear grease gate if you're afraid of getting food down there. Pour in that heavy whipping cream. Grab that Blackstone Cajun seasoning or whatever Cajun seasoning you happen to have on hand. Maybe you have Tony's, but the key is that it has a lot of cayenne. Now we go in with a little dusting of the fresh parsley, some of the fresh lemon juice. I'm trying to make sure that I don't get any seeds in the recipe. Obviously, if you come to visit me on the tour, I'll be wearing gloves, but I don't wear gloves when I'm cooking for my family. Final touch, your favorite Cajun hot sauce. Again, a cayenne Cajun hot sauce. Mix it up. Time is of the essence. This total recipe is very quick. If I'm cooking this for my family at home and I'm not filming and trying to make things look perfect, this is seven minutes. It's eight minutes tops. There's a tip if you're a new griddler. I always like to use two spatulas. I grew up as a drummer. I was used to having something going on with both hands. And so two spatulas, it's just easier to do things like this. Reach in there, pick up your big pile of food and bring it over to your platter. I'm gonna sprinkle a little more parsley on top. I might put a lemon wedge in the corner. I might even sprinkle a little more lemon juice across the top. And of course, you're free to decorate it any way you want. A little dusting of the Cajun on top. A finishing touch of the Cajun hot sauce. Take a look at that. This is the Colorado Cajun. This is the first time I have made it in probably 10 months. And I'm super excited because the Griddle More Tour starts next week. Let's clean this bad boy. As you can see, it's really messy. We had a lot of sticky residue, but easy peasy. Even when I make 15 plus pounds of this on the tour, this is all you do. You're doing a light scrape with your griddle scraper and get all that gunk off. Now you have one of two options. Most of that sticky stuff has burned off of my griddle. But if it didn't burn off, you could certainly use a little bit of water. When you use water, it essentially deglazes the griddle top. You can see how it pulls all that gunk off the top. Watch your bare hands. You wanna try not to burn yourself. Wanna wipe everything off. If you find a little piece of rice, feel free to kick it back there into your grease cup. Then I'll grab whatever cooking oil I'm using. Today, it happens to be avocado. We're on high heat. I recommend you clean your griddle on high heat because it's just so much easier to clean it when it's hot. We'll let that oil smoke off for a minute or so. Then we can turn the burners off and with the exception of this big piece of bell pepper that was laying there in the back, it's ready to go for the next recipe. Colorado Cajun, where do I start? I love everything about it and I love that it is savory. It's got just a touch of sweetness with that cream, plenty of spice. Oh, creamy, good, delicious. Let's give it a try. Need to cleanse my palate, peach tea. I really want to try that new brand, or new to me, brand of Andouille. Was it called Cajun Holler brand? Ooh, let's give it a try. So good, let me take one more bite on camera. 
Colorado Cajun, the one, the only, the legend. This is gonna be the fourth year, I think, that I've made the Colorado Cajun, so, so good. Sure to appreciate you watching. Catch me on the Griddlemore Tour again. Phoenix, Arizona area coming up next week, and then I go to Tampa, and then I jump, like I said, down to, I think, Midland and Odessa and around up to Fort Worth, and then we go over to the East Coast. So thanks so much, everybody. Sure to appreciate you watching, and in all things, praise the Lord, pass the Colorado Cajun.